been having the urge to go fishing on my boat and of course the battery's dead because it's probably been about four months since I've took this joker out. So since the batteries are dead, the plan is to go ahead and clean up all the pine needles out of it, all the debris since it's been sitting for so long, charge up the batteries overnight. After I clean up all these pine needles, I'm gonna run to the store and get some stuff to put into my fuel because she's been sitting a while and I don't really wanna start it up with the fuel that's been sitting in it. So I'm gonna get some treatment to throw into the fuel and we're gonna hit the boat ramp first thing tomorrow morning and hopefully get on some nice fish. I would really like to catch some big snook or try to find some redfish. Not only do I gotta get this boat ready, but I gotta tie some flies because like I said, it's a fly fishing mission. The goal would be to really catch just a redfish on fly. That's what I'm gonna cross my fingers for. But I'll pretty much take snook, trout, redfish, tarpon, whatever's out there. So, gotta tie some flies, get this boat situated. The boat's a whole nother situation. Hopefully we get her to start tomorrow morning. I'm thinking it should start right up, but you never know. Since the last couple hurricanes hit us, the water's been completely dirty and I've had no motivation to get out there and try to fish, but I went the other day with my brother-in-law and my buddy Eric from land and the water actually didn't look too bad. Looks like the water level came down a little bit. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna give it all I got and go on a fly fishing mission, which reminds me I got a lot to do before tomorrow morning hits. Freedom, free, free, freedom over fame. Free, free, freedom over f cycle stays the same. like it too much but I lost quite a bit of daylight it's gonna be interesting I don't really have a plan B so I'll probably think of a plan B tonight pretty good chance that the boat's not gonna start but let's cross our fingers and hope it does looked like one of the batteries was giving me a little bit of trouble trying to get it to charge so we'll see I'm gonna load up my truck to the boat and then I have to tie some flies so yeah let's go ahead and get that going I'm losing my mind, lo lo losing my mind, I'm falling away, I can't see straight. I'm losing my mind, lo lo losing my mind, I'm falling away, I can't see straight. I'm losing my mind, lo lo losing my mind. Good morning, everybody. I don't know if you could tell or not, but I'm not towing the boat right now. I think one of the batteries is completely dead. The trolling motor was working, and that's 24 volt, but could not get the motor to crank over so I'll deal with that a little bit later on you're probably wondering if it's just the battery why don't I just go ahead and switch that out well it's a pain in the butt to get inside that hatch and get the battery in and out so that would take quite a while and I don't want to waste this beautiful early morning on just working on the boat I want to try to get on some fish sometimes you have specific plans but life has a whole nother plan for you so let's get to these spots Darpen, what the heck? <laughs> Right when I was reeling it in. It's always when they get you, huh? Always when you least expect.
once it's faster. Oh yeah. He wants it faster. Oh, I missed it. There. We want the tarpon that's chilling. Can we get them? Some good fish under here right now. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, baby. Whoa, whoa. Come on, just destroy it right in front of me. Would you? Would you just? They're just rolling over there, baby. Just throw right on top of them. See what happens. Oh! That wasn't the smartest idea to throw right on top of them. Two of them. guys i could not seal the deal been fishing all morning just caught those two little snook but i brought some backup i brought the backup today backup better you you're the backup oh, i'm the backup you're yep. the backup <laughs> they need to see a fish today well i've literally seen about at least 20 to 25 tarpon roll right at the covert oh, and i yeah. saw one big head wake swimming away too so we've seen them roll today <laughs> yeah, <have you? laughs> couldn't seal the deal just yet well, i've hooked Big fish off this mm -hmm. I've never been over here. And I caught 16 tarpon here. 16? Uh, yeah. Uh, Ed caught his first snook there. I jumped like a 15, 20 pound tarpon in there, broke me off. So, so there's fish here. Fisherman here. Oh, yeah? There's a spot I told you there was a guy fishing. Mm hmm. I've never fished over here. I've only fished the other side. But we're going to put a wax in on them. I had a code brown at the. Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> oh, yeah. I said, uh. I'm not trying to go in there. I'm just. I just need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, they try to make oh, me pay. Oh really? You yeah. To... I, just, I just gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back out. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so let's try to put a hurting on something. Holy wind! I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. guys if you're wondering why I'm at home and not fishing it's because it's the end of the day I put in work all day and only caught those two little snook in the beginning of the day it's been so long that 
I forgot that I even caught fish this morning. But Eric and myself, we couldn't seal the deal. We got a few bites. He saw a really nice snook, but we didn't catch any fish. Back at home, about to pick up my family, and I'm gonna get a battery for this boat, and also a few odds and ends for this boat so we could take it out fishing on the next video. So let's do it. What happened? What happened? What happened, Mama? Look, Livy.